All right, hey guys, Ty here, back with another video for uh, the Oculus, and in this video, we are gonna be checking out Slightly Heroes, which is a very cool game. It was released yesterday, um, and it's a kind of a, a battle royale sort of game, uh, set in like a 3D environment. You're taking on another opponent, and uh, you've got various weapons, various characters. Um, the characters kind of remind me like of something that you might see like in a movie like The Incredibles. Um, the animation's really good. Um, everything about it's great. Gameplay is really good. Controlling is really cool. Um, it's one of few games where you can actually use like a gamepad uh, to actually move around and then you can also use uh, your Go controller. So you use the Go controller uh, to move around, you know, shoot and aim uh, and then obviously you know you look around with your head and you use uh, the joystick to actually move around in your environment. Um, you can play it with just the Go controller using the trackpad to move around. Um, that is a little wonky. It's so much easier if you can use a joystick to move around. Uh, and then the controller that I happen to like is this controller because I have a ton of them. I used to own a VR store, well, like a specialty tech store. Um, and so I got a ton of these. Um, and this works perfect for this game. These controllers are pretty cool. They get terrible reviews on Amazon, crap reviews. It's like 2.5 stars. Um, but it's because, well, one, quality control isn't the greatest. When we were selling these, I saw like one out of 25 would be bad. Um, so that's a little bit high, um, but it's kind of complicated to use. Um, in order to use it like a VR controller like this where up, down, left, right, you know, towards the top is up, you've got to hit the at and C button. If you want to use it like a regular controller, you've got to hit the at and B button to kind of put it into those modes. Um, and it comes defaulted in somewhere like like mouse mode. And so people hook it up and like, ah, it only turns my volume up and down. And they just didn't read the instructions, which are terrible anyways. Um, but I am going to give away a few of these um, in this video. So all I ask you to do is I want you to give the video a big thumbs up. I need you to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And I need you to comment down below uh, that you want to win a controller. And I'll give away three of these in the US only. Sorry, international people, it's just the shipping would be too much. These controllers, you can get them on Amazon for like less than six bucks now. We retail them in a brick and mortar store for 10 bucks. Um, but for this game, they work perfectly and they work in some other games. No start button though, so like you can't play an Oculus Arcade. You, it would work, but there's no way to actually hit start to play the game. Some other games, they work. Um, it's a fun little side add-on. Definitely get a regular controller if you don't have one yet. But if you already have a regular controller and you really want to get jiggy in Slightly Heroes, this controller works perfectly for it. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay here and I'm going to show you a couple things that you're going to want to change uh, in the uh, menu. So let's go here and uh, we'll go back to uh, resume. All right, here we go. And uh, so here we are uh, kind of in, here's the home menu right here and you can play against friends so you can create a room, send them the invite code and then they can come play against you so they can be anywhere in the world. Uh, first thing you want to do though, definitely go up to your settings right there, the gear icon, and you're going to want to change these right here. So these are defaulted, this vignette side and dead zone. So as you can see, I can only see what I'm looking at directly in front of me. And this is what happens when you move. So as soon as you start moving with your controller, everything kind of blurs down like this. Pop that back up. You want to be able to see everything around you. Absolutely right there. Uh, dead zone, similar. When you start to die, you get sort of this same sort of thing right there. So blast that up right there. And then you can change the uh, volume however you'd like. Um, quick rotation degrees. So you can either quick rotate by clicking the trackpad or by twisting the controller. I like twisting the controller. Um, it's set at 67.5 degrees, which is how much you turn around, which is about yay much. It's too much for me. I like to just go 45 degrees so I can instantly turn uh, like that. And then uh, down here you can uh, change uh, click touchpad or rotate controller. It only works with the touchpad if you're using an external gamepad. So if you're not using an external gamepad, that is going to be uh, off and quick rotation is always going to be a quick twist like this and you're going to use the trackpad to move. That is a little wonky. People that are playing you that have an actual proper joystick are definitely going to have an advantage. Uh, and there is a, a YouTuber, Remarcus, good channel, lots of good uh, 
Oculus Go content. I will uh, link to his uh, channel down below. Uh, he had a little tournament when this game was released yesterday and he went undefeated and I think uh, one of the things that might have helped him is that he was using an actual game controller and the Oculus controller. Um, so that is uh, everything that I think you want. You can turn the quick rotation on or off, leave it on, it's super useful. Uh, we'll go back over here to home and then uh, let's go to quick match. And here we go, we got a couple characters. These two characters are unlocked. To start the game right there, I unlocked this Marty McFly looking guy and he's got the uh, McFly vest on right there. And they all have different attributes, you know, how much health and speed. Uh, so as your speed goes up, your health tends to go down and that kind of makes a little bit of sense here uh, with the size. Uh, so we'll kind of go with, uh, let's go with the big bad guy right there, Captain Lawsuit. Agent Meow and Fearless McFly. Uh, but we're going to go with uh, Captain Lawsuit right there. And let's go to battle. So we're going to search for an opponent. I have found that there isn't often opponents that I can play uh, right now. And then, see, I'm trying to click on bot match. Now, this is something the developers need to fix. Um, the bot match sometimes just doesn't work. Uh, and I could be sitting here waiting for a long time. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to back out of the game. And it's a drag that that happens. And we're going to go back into the game. And now I think that bot match will work. So it seems to be some sort of a bug uh, in the game where bot match doesn't always work. And it should always work. So hopefully the developers figure that out. Okay. So we're back and bot match now works. Uh, and then you can adjust difficulty and this is the experience points per win. Easy is so easy, don't even worry about it. Medium is pretty damn easy too. Hard is kind of hard. Um, I think I've only won like one hard match and I've played quite a few. Uh, so just to uh, look like I know what I'm doing over here, we're gonna click medium and allow others to join. So maybe somebody else can join us here. Uh, that's how you turn, so just a quick snap, snap. Okay. So here we go, you go on these little green pads and they will teleport you. Um, whoop, I heard something. All right, let's go around. And I like being able to do the quick turn all like this. So that way you don't necessarily have to be playing on a swivel chair. You click the health, oh, I just saw him over here. And then these lightning bolts are power ups. We're gonna get him with the power bot. This guy will go find him. And boom, suicide bomber, get him. Bam, and we, oh. oh, sneaky Pete got me there. All right, so, and then you'll just kind of respawn randomly. And this is like the farm environment. Uh, I think there's like five or six different environments. Uh, one thing I wish is that it would always put you in a different environment. I know it's random. Um, come here, you. God, this guy's tough. And you'll see that uh, you start to run out of oomph. Got him, all right, so there he's dead. I'm surprised he actually ever killed me. Uh, the medium setting is generally pretty easy. And in fact, let's just fast forward to a different uh, playing field. Okay, boom, so now we are in the little island environment. I kind of like this environment right here. Um, so if you want to get up on the pirate ship and that's a good place to be, you're going to want to head over to this teleporter right here because you can't cross the red rope. It's like a high-end nightclub there. Uh, let's power up. Um, let's see if we can't go a little one-on-one. -on -one. Come on, mofo. Let's bring it on. Come here. Come here, come here. Boom, killed ya. Okay, it switched over. Um, we're still good. Pop up onto this one. And we don't need the health, where's he at? Where are you? All right, well you get a feel for uh, this environment. Let's uh, go ahead and pop over to the next environment.
Okay, so now we are in the city environment and it's basically just a big, we got kind of the center place right here, square that goes around, I see him over there. Gotcha. So, city environment, I believe this uh, little transporter takes you upstairs. Ah! Gotcha, that was quick and easy. Um, okay, so now you kind of get a feel for uh, the city. And we can go ahead, I'm just having too much fun here. And we'll zap and kill that guy right there. All right, now if you want to back out of the game, just hit the back button, quit to main menu, are you sure, and click OK. Okay, so that's about it right there. I don't think we need to go over uh, a whole lot more uh, gameplay for you, so you get a feel for it. Remember, go in and change the vignetting settings. That is super, super annoying right there. And change this so it's not clicking there. So do that, and uh, you guys are gonna have a fun time with this game, it's good stuff. Um, again, if you wanna win one of these controllers, make sure that you give the video a thumbs up, comment down below that you liked it and that you wanna win one of these, and subscribe if you aren't already a subscriber. If you have any questions, let me know, uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.